finally, Timur, <laughs> I know it's late for you. I just, uh, you know, we, the candidates finished today with Jan Nepomniachtchi. We all know you were supposed to be playing there. Is it sort of a strange feeling for you to see that end without you being um, competing? Um, yeah, it's kind of a uh, pity to see that the tournament is, was going without me, certainly. But uh, let's be fair. I mean, he deserved this victory and... Uh, I mean, uh, the tournament was played, so he was there and he deserved a victory in the tournament. So, uh, certainly, I have very good relations with Jan and uh, I wish him luck a lot of times uh, during different events and we're very friendly with him. So, uh, yeah, well, I think that he really did a great job, especially in the uh, in the last round. I think it was, like, not the last round, not the last game, but, like, this, um, you know, the second part of the tournament. I think that uh, he really lived through hard times uh, during this year because he was leading, he was kind of close to this great achievement and uh, he had to wait for a long time and prepare and probably not, he wasn't sure about his preparation, I guess, some openings and stuff. And as you see here, certainly he, um, you know, he changed his openings and so on. So I think he really did a great job and emotionally he stayed on top, but I'm also impressed by um, by uh, Anish's performance, and I think he could do better, uh, you know, uh, especially in the last round, of course. I think he was a bit, it was a bit too much to play this. He had to go for the King's Indian at least against Kushu, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I would be happy about it. Do you think Jan has a chance against Magnus in November? Yeah, of course. I mean, he's, uh, what, world number four now or something. So uh, it's quite close, and uh, I think he will work uh, very hard. I know that he worked very hard for the candidates, uh, This the second part. And uh, I think he did a tremendous job there. He just changed a lot and uh, he just changed a bit the repertoire as well because he certainly had the problems in the first round, I, I mean, in the first lap of the event. And um, yeah, I think he will do a lot of, uh, you know, great work there with a lot of coaches and, you know, yeah, I mean, he has his chances and I think it will be a great match. Um, let's be fair, Magnus is a favorite there, but uh, it will be a very hard match for him, especially that I think that his score is not uh, so great against Jan or something. I think he's on minus score probably. Am I right on that? Mm -hmm. In the classical games, probably he's on slight minus. But okay, it doesn't mean anything, of course. And uh, I think uh, Karakin was on a uh, huge minus against Carlsen before the match. And uh, we saw that he really was very close to win the championship. So it doesn't mean that much in this, you know, in this uh, two players, uh, you know, competition mm -hmm. where I think the one who prepares better just prevails there.